And your heart will keep on singing. To study more no more. We will sing. Stretch your hands up right where you're at. Lord, we ask today that you would have your way in service yes, this evening, Lord, Lord Jesus. Not our will, Father, but thy will be done, Lord God, on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, we ask today, Lord Jesus, you said whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever yes, we loose Lord. on earth is loose in heaven. And right now, Lord God, I bind up any negativity, right anything that is not yes, like you, anything that might bring hurt, harm, yes, or danger into our lives, and I lose your blessing, I lose your healing, I lose your greatness, I lose your power. I lose your authority. I lose your sovereignty. I lose your greatness. I lose your acceptance. I lose your grace. I lose your love. I lose your authority, Lord Jesus, to have your way, God. This morning, Lord Jesus, we are grateful, Lord Jesus, to be in the house of God. We can be in any place, Lord Jesus, in the world, but we are here, Father, wanting to worship you, wanting to bless your name, wanting to serve you. So, Father, come in and have your way, God. Come in and have it, our praises, God. Come in and have our worship, Lord Jesus. Come in and receive today, Lord God, as we bless your name. And we ask, Lord God, that a great and mighty work is done, Father, for your kingdom this morning today. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 Take a seat real quick. Oh. oh, we live. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We live. We live. Everybody stand up to your feet. Put your hands together.
someone asked.
Worship Jesus Christ as our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So just lift your hands for a minute and give him some praise. We want to start the day off right by giving him honor and giving him glory and let him know how much we love him. He's such a good God. He already gave you a gift today, and that's the gift of life. Nobody can give you that gift except God, so we praise him for it. Well, welcome to service. This is a worship service. Lift your hands, open your mouth, sing unto the Lord. We welcome you. God bless you today. If you're here in person, give yourselves a hand. God bless you. If you're joining us on Zoom or live stream, we welcome you also. We'll start with Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Father, we praise you for your word today. It is life to us. So we thank you, Lord, that we receive the word, that we walk it out in our daily lives. Holy Spirit, move in this place. Holy Spirit, heal those who need healing. Deliver those who need a touch, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Welcome our pastor, Pastor Alvin Simpkins. Well, God is good. Are you glad to be in the house? Somebody put your hands together and let's just give the Lord a praise. God is good. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, come on, open your mouth and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest praise. Stretch your elbow all the way up. We reach up because, Lord, hold our hand lest we fall. Father, thank you for your goodness. We come to worship. We come to magnify. We come to praise your name. We're not ashamed to say we need your help. Somebody just shout, help. Come on, shout, help. We need your help in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name, we love you. We appreciate you for all that you are in our lives. Thank you. For all your many blessings, we are blessed. Somebody say amen. Amen. Would you welcome, well, welcome Elder William Harris as he come and pronounce the blessing over our children. God is a good God. He loves you. Everything is going to be all right. Somebody say amen. Father God, we thank you that our children are blessed. We thank you, Lord, that you're doing good things in their lives. We say thank you, Lord, for their life. Oh, God, you are blessing their life. Lord, we pray that you will sustain our children, oh God, all the days of their life, that they will live out all of their days, oh Father, that they will be protected in the city, blessed in the field, blessed wherever they go, oh God. We pray that our children will have the right guidance in their lives. Oh God, we pray, Lord, for godly people to come into the lives of our children. We pray over the parents of our children that they will raise them in the fear and the nurture of God in the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against our children shall be able to prosper. Oh God, we thank you for each and every one of our children. We pray, Lord God, that you will bless them, Father, that you will keep them. Oh, Father, keep the enemy away from the lives of our children. And Lord, we thank you that you will bless them all the days of their life, that the perpetual blessings of God will rest upon them from generation to generation and generations to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. At this time, we release all of our children to go, and we just thank the Lord for his goodness and all of his mercy. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap as we worship on this day. Oh, 
I sense something in the atmosphere. I feel it if you want to hear something from God right now, you need to lift your hands and give Him some praise. Give Him some honor. Give Him some glory. There is healing in the house. There is deliverance in the house. There is the power of God in the house. Just lift your hands and give God some praise. Because He's worthy. Whatever you need from God, lift your hands and ask Him for it right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, heal your people. Deliver your people in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise. until our ushers come by you with a packet. We would like to say, give them a hand of welcome. We would like to welcome you. If you're here, we see that hand. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. It is our job to reach the lost with the love of Jesus Christ. Make sure you have your outreach cards. Make sure that you have your testimony ready and available to share with somebody. You just ask one word and they want to hear what Jesus has done in your life. So make sure you're prepared with our outreach cards. Uh, we are still signing up for our Thanksgiving box, food box giveaway. If you need a food box for Thanksgiving, please go by and sign up with our food ministry. If you know of a neighbor or a friend who needs a little bit of help to get through the holidays, please go by and sign up. You can pick up the box and take it to them and deliver it to them and pray for them. Well, God bless you. Thank you for that. Also, make sure you're bringing some non-perishable items. Bring them, drop them off in the kitchen area. You're going to help us not just to feed for Thanksgiving, but in the weeks ahead. So thank you in advance for, for all you're doing with that. God bless you. Here is your pastor, Pastor Alvin Simpkins. Oh, God is good. Somebody say amen. Oh, God loves you. Don't forget, us just help me out with the children's prayer line. The enemy is fighting our kids in an unusual way. Several kids were shot last night. And uh, you just have to know that we got to pray as a church and ask God to cover them by the blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood. The blood. They need to be covered every day. This is a 31-day prayer line guide. Uh, prayer guide for you to pray over your children every day. Somebody say every day. You need to ask the Lord to protect them. The enemy want to destroy our next generations. He want to kill them. And so we're going to pray every day. Somebody say every day. Amen. If your kids are off in college, don't think that they're grown. Pray every day. If they are married, we've got a spouse, don't think that they're grown. Pray every day. 
Somebody say amen. You got to cover them by the blood. Somebody say the blood. Amen. Every day we hear of things happening to our kids right here in the Mile High City. And so you got to ask the Lord for help. Somebody say help. Yeah. And don't forget to be an outreach person. Don't forget to be a person that reach out to try and win souls. God will bless you. All of heaven rejoices when we win the loss. Somebody say amen. 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 God loves you. Don't forget in the morning, man, at 530, we're going to be up. Uh, getting into the word, real men get into the Bible. Uh, the, Bi the Bible says in Isaiah, the grass wither, the flower fade, but the word of God will what? Stand forever. We need men today that know what the Bible says. Somebody ought to say amen. We need men today that's not ashamed to read the Bible. Somebody say amen. We need men today that's not ashamed to pray. Somebody say amen. Oh, God will bless your life and God will help you. Let us all stand at this time. Thank you for being here on this wonderful day. We come to worship the Lord. Stretch your elbow all the way up with me. And everybody say, Lord, I plead the blood. You got a situation in your life. You need to put it under the blood. Come on, stretch your hand all the way up and say, Lord, I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus over our lives today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Bless you as the choir minister to us.
They hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head. For me, he died. That's the Hey, that's the But that's not how the story. the Lord a praise if you love him with all of your heart. Thank you for ministering to the Lord on this day. Somebody say amen. Take your Bible this morning. So glad that you are here. Go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse number uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse number 11. So glad that you're here. Don't forget if you're on your way out pick up a prayer guide for your children. We got to pray over our kids. We got to ask God to bless them. Somebody say amen. Amen. God loves you. Thank you, choir, for ministering to the Lord. For us, to us this morning, we appreciate you. God is a good God. Somebody say amen. 2 Corinthians chapter number 2, verse number 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 11. If you have it, say amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter number 2, verse number 11. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Let us all stand as we read one scripture. God is a good God and he loves you. Somebody say amen. And the Bible says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Raise your hands and let's pray together. Father, thank you for wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. 
thank you for wisdom in every area of our lives. Help us to have wisdom and insight and knowledge. Don't let the enemy get us. Don't let the enemy blindside us. We just thank you for your divine protection. You are able. Somebody say, you are able. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say, amen. Amen. Bless you. You may be seated this morning. I got a message I want to share, and I want to get it off my heart. Uh, four spirits that you must understand and you must fight against every day. Four spiritual enemies that the enemy sends into your life to mess up your life. God is a good God. Somebody say amen. amen. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ with Na of, of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. And the enemy releases spirits of oppression and depression and discouragement into our lives to stop us, to hinder us, and, uh, and to do all that he can to get us off track. But we got to know them, fight back, and we got to march ahead under the banner of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's the only spirit that we should be following. Somebody say amen. His goal is to use these spirits to steal your joy, keep you sad and mad and upset. It's a, it's a spirit that the enemy has released in this time, and we must do all that we can to maintain joy. Somebody just say joy. We must do all that we can. It, it, and it, he does it to steal our joy, to mess up our lives. And you must do all that you can to make sure that you understand the spirits that the enemy has released into the atmosphere and to the world today. These are the last days. Mental illness is at an all-time high in America. And you have to understand, people are losing their mind. Somebody say, Lord, keep my mind. Say it again, Lord, keep my mind. The enemy attack our mind, Isaiah 26 and 3. I will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. People are losing it. All of us know of somebody that lost it. All of us know of somebody that messed up their lives because they lost their mind. And a lot of time it is influenced by evil forces, by evil spirits, by evil demonic diabolical spirits that come from the pit of hell to mess up your life, to mess up your family. These spirits attack your mind, your heart, and your body. And so you have to know they causes you to drift away from God. They causes you to have problems in your life. They causes you to not be happy and not to have joy. Somebody said joy. That's why we plead the blood. Somebody say the blood. Somebody say the blood. The Bible says that when I see the blood over your doorpost, I will command that evil spirit to do what? Pass over. Somebody say pass over. That's why couples argue over nothing. That's why families fight over nothing. That's why men mess up their lives over nothing. That's why women mess up their homes over nothing. It is evil, diabolical spirits that mess up your life. And you got you to gotta plead the blood. Raise your hands over the house, all over the house. And somebody shout, the blood! the blood. The blood of Jesus. All of you know of somebody that's fighting off an evil spirit in their lives. You got to pray against them. And you got to stay focused on the word and keep your mind stayed on the Lord. Keep your mind and your heart stayed on the Lord. People are drifting and shifting in these last days. Because they are led by evil spirits. They are led. That's why I don't worship Halloween. That's why I don't celebrate Halloween. They come to my door. I don't answer the door. That's why I'm not going to put out no skeleton. I'm not going to put out no pumpkin. I'm not going to put out anything. Because what you're doing is you're calling up evil spirits. Let me help somebody. You are calling up evil spirits. And I don't want no evil spirits coming to my front door. I don't want no evil spirits coming to my house. I want the Holy Spirit coming to my house. Somebody say the blood. Somebody say the blood. God anoints you and I to overcome evil spirits. Jesus came to help us. And as a Christian, you must understand that the enemy want to use his spirits to stop you. Jesus said in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief coming not but for to steal and to what? Kill, kill and to what? Destroy. 
destroy. That is the work of these spirits in the life of the believer. And you have to know, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, we just read it, that we must not be ignorant and we must not be silent against these evil spirits that come against our families, that come against our lives. That's what's calling all the kids to be shot up in Denver. It is evil spirits. Somebody say amen. And we got to plead the blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood. You must pray against them. And you must ask the Lord to protect you. Number one, the first spirit that we must pray against. And write it down. is the spirit of rejection. That spirit of, we all know of people that have been rejected. People will overlook you, leave you behind. Rejection can cause you to have head issues and problems in your life. But yes, you must understand and know who you are. I'm a child of the king. The Lord is on my side. I have favor. Somebody say favor. Jesus was rejected. That old spirit of rejection that comes from the pit of hell. You have to understand. You got to make sure that you know who you are. He knew who he was. Jesus Christ knew who he was. People today are struggling because of the spirit of rejection. Then when they, when they get rejected, some of our kids, when they get rejected by their friends, they want to commit suicide. That's a spirit. They want to cut them pretty girls, want to cut themselves up. Cutters. That's a spirit. Little boys that just want to act up in, in class and want to be the class clown. That's a spirit. Oh, it's quiet up in this Presbyterian church, but I don't care. I'm on God's timetable. Somebody say, help. When husband and wife argue over nothing, it's a spirit. When sons and daughters don't honor their parents, it's a spirit. That old spirit of rejection. His brother, John's chapter 7, verse 5. For neither did his brethren believe in him. They didn't accept him. They rejected him. It was a spirit. And so you have to know that in Matthew chapter 13 and verse 57, it said, and they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is without honor, save in his own hometown. And you have to know, people will reject you. You might be red, yellow, brown, black, or white. But they will reject you. But you got to know who you are. Don't let that stop you. You got to march ahead. Somebody say march ahead. In Mark chapter 6, verse 3, they said, isn't this just a carpenter's son? He's a nobody. The son of Mary, the brother of James, Joseph, and Judah. Who would this guy think he is? And Simon, I know Simon, we used to smoke marijuana together. And not, are not his sisters here with us? I know them. They didn't say what they did with the sisters. And they were offended at Jesus. And they rejected him. But you have to know that old spirit of rejection will mess up your life. You got to declare, I'm a child of the king. The Lord is on my side. When something bad happened, you got to decree, I have favor. Somebody say favor. God is going to help me. You got to renounce that old spirit by saying the blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood is against you. This spirit of rejection is what messing up families. It's what messing up marriages. It's what messes up kids' life. It's what messes up good kids' life. It's the old spirit of rejection. Pretty girls will give in to bad guys because they don't want to be rejected. Just leave, leave, Just let them leave you behind. You know who you are. Most women sitting behind bars today are there because they didn't want to be rejected by some guy or they followed some guy the wrong path. Somebody say amen. A lot of men, you know, they don't want to be rejected. But you have to know. You got to know who you are. And you got to not let that spirit run your life. The Lord is on my side. Somebody say, the Lord is on my side. Put your hand up all over your house and everybody say, Lord, I renounce the spirit of rejection I am accepted by God the second spirit that we must fight against every day every day is the spirit of deception that old spirit of deception 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power 
and of what? Love and of what? Sound mind. The enemy will deceive you. All of us get phone calls. Every day, somebody come trying to scam us. If you got a scam call this week, or it's on your phone, let me see your hand. All of us. It's that devil trying to deceive you. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. The Bible says, be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Don't be hoodwinked. Don't let the devil get you off track. Watch out for those spirits. That's why you got to pray. Read your Bible. Declare the Lord is on my side. These spirits will try to deceive you and get you to get some, get, get, get their, whatever they're selling. They're always selling something. And then they want you to, now you go to 7-Eleven and just put some money on this account. And then that'll fix you. They tried to trick me one day. They, 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 they hit me up on my phone. And I, I didn't know it was a scam. They hit me up. They were going to turn the lights off on the church. So I called my wife. Hey, didn't we pay the light bill? I, they said, go over to 7-Eleven and put $500 in there. We'll make sure that on. I, what? It was, and my wife said, Alvin, it's a scam. <laughs> They'll trick you and tell you your credit card has been stolen. How many of you guys know what I'm talking about? It's deception. The devil will deceive. It's a, somebody say, it's a spirit. spirit. Somebody say, it's a spirit. spirit. And these evil spirits are running the lives of Christians. We must be aware that the eyes of our understanding is open. That we don't make stupid decisions. That we don't mess up our lives, falling behind an evil spirit from the pit of hell. Somebody say amen. amen. We must live with a sound, sane mind and not follow after evil spirits. Somebody say amen. amen. We must live with the next level of anointing by the blood of Jesus that I am covered by the blood. Somebody say the blood. We got to think beyond where we are today and believe and know the enemy wants to trick you. The enemy wants to scam you. The enemy wants to hoodwink you. The enemy wants to mess up your life and get you all off track. He wants to deceive you. And the Bible says, be not deceived. Somebody say, it's a spirit. Fear comes under that spirit of deception. The enemy will do all that he can to get you off track, to get you afraid. He'll lie to you and deceive you, trick you, and just to mess you up. Somebody say amen. And then you got to do all that you can to stay the course. Lord, and you, you know, I say it all the time, Lord, if this is you, give me a sign. Hey, I don't care what people say. That's a pastor. He should know the voice of God. I do know the voice of God. But there are some situations in life where you got to make sure you got to check Recheck, double check, cross check, or you ain't gonna have no check. <laughs> so I say, Lord, if this is you, if you want me to preach this sermon, if you want me to preach this sermon to your people, give me a sign. I go to Walmart and somebody will say the name of the sermon. I get a call and somebody will say the name of the sermon. Somebody say, Amen. amen. My wife often asks me, Why are you preaching that sermon? Because I got confirmation. Somebody say amen. amen. Nothing is like confirmation. When you walk into a five-star hotel, first thing they want to know is your confirmation number. <laughs> Am I right today? You better get confirmation in your life. Don't just drift through life. Get some confirmation and know that you're on the right track, that the Lord is on my side. Somebody shout, help! We got to pray against these evil spirits, that spirit of rejection, that spirit of deception. The enemy deceived people. Her disturbed the young lady, beautiful girl, in her early 20s that did herself in. And she said, nobody liked me. Nobody wanted to be around me. She was deceived. She was deceived by a spirit and took her own life. Let me tell you, that's a lie. People love you. People want to be around you. Somebody say Amen. People want to talk to you. Somebody say amen. Don't ever think that nobody loves you. That's a spirit trying to mess you up. If somebody say it's a lie. It's a lie. Say it again. It's a lie. It's a lie. 
People love you. People want to be around you. Somebody say amen. When people don't call me back, if I call my kids, they don't call me back, I call somebody that want to talk to me. And they answer my phone right now. See, if somebody don't want that, if your kids won't call you back, call somebody that want to talk to you. There's somebody want to talk to you. There's somebody that value you. There's somebody that understand you. There's somebody that appreciate you. There's somebody that celebrate you. Leave those people behind. It's a spirit. Raise your hand with this pastor. Everybody say, Lord, I renounce every spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. The third spirit that we have to watch out for. Every day and pray against it. The blood. The third spirit. These spirits have been released into the earth realm. That's why you see men doing crazy stuff. That's why you see men, you know, messing up their families. That's why you see men recklessly throwing their money away. Thinking they're going to hit it big in Vegas. You're not going to hit it big in Vegas? Let me help you. If you hit it big in Vegas, the mafia ain't going to let you get out alive. So don't waste your time. Pay your tithe. Trust the Lord. Let him raise you up little by what? Little by little. Then as you profit, you can declare you can sleep every night. The Lord did it. Somebody say the Lord did it. The third spirit that we have to watch out for and pray against is the spirit of doubt. People have lost their faith in this hour. That spirit of doubt. John chapter 6 and verse 42. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he going to say to us, I came down from the father. They doubted him. They doubted Jesus. And they're going to doubt you. They doubted our church. Y'all ain't going to make it. We're still here. And some of those that said it ain't even in ministry today. Oh, somebody said, let me leave that alone. I can feel my wife breathing down my throat behind me. I can tell you some stories about the doubt they said about me and the doubt they said about us. But we are still here. Every bill is paid. The Lord is on our side. We come through the pandemic. The Lord kept us. Don't get me started. I got to stop. Let them doubt you. Build your business. And then smile and wave. Just keep on going. Somebody say amen. And don't let doubt stop you. Somebody say, I can do it. People are doubting everything. They doubt God. They just doubt everything. They're doubting. Do you want to know why gambling has taken on a new lift in our society? Because of doubt. The spirit of doubt. So they bet that you're wrong and I'm going to doubt you. That's why it's a spirit. Men, don't put your money on the Broncos today. Let me help somebody. I don't, I don't gamble. I don't put my money on, the, on nobody. I only bet when I know I'm going to win. I got the answer right here in my pocket. That I'll bet you. I always try to bet my wife. She goes, no, I ain't going to bet you. It's doubt. The spirit of doubt has taken on a whole new life. That's why families are breaking up. Doubt. You got to believe in the Lord and believe in his word. The Lord is on my side. Somebody say, the Lord is on my side. And then you got to trust the Lord when you can't trace his heart. You don't hear him speaking audibly. You don't see him moving in your life. You got to trust his heart when you can't trace his hand. Trust the Lord. Somebody say, trust the Lord. And you follow on. You follow on to, to, to follow on to know the Lord. Somebody say amen. Don't doubt. They doubted Jesus. They didn't believe in him. These spirits have been around from the beginning of time. That old spirit of rejection. How many of you in here, in here today have been rejected by somebody? Let me see your hand. All of us have had to deal with the spirit of rejection. How many of you, they, these old spirits have tried to trick you? Somewhere down the road, they tried, to, they tried to scam you. They tried to trick you. All of us had to deal with the spirit of deception. How many here people doubted you and didn't believe you, but you made it and you're still here? Somebody say, I'm still here. 
Somebody say, I'm still here. There are spirits out there that comes to doubt you. My job as your pastor is to warn you about these evil spirits. That before you get mad at your wife, calm down. It could be a spirit that's fueling the argument. Before you get so mad at your kid that you write them off. It could be a spirit that's fueling their disobedience. Before you get so upset with your boss that you walk in his office and tell him a piece of your mind. It could be a spirit that's driving the conversation at your office. Somebody say the blood. blood. That's why we always plead the blood. He said, when I see the blood, I'll drive them spirits away and I'll let, you pass, let them pass over you, leave you alone and go to somebody else who don't believe in spirits. That's why Halloween is big. It's all about spirits. But you got to know it's not for me. I don't worship that spirit. I worship the Holy Spirit. I worship the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord. It's, the, it's not by might nor by power, but he says, by my spirit that I'm going to bless you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you favor. I'm going to open doors in your life. I'm going to bless your business. I'm going to bless your son. I'm going to bless your daughter by the Spirit of the living God. That old spirit of doubt. Somebody say doubt. That's why you got to stay with the process. Stay with the process of serving the Lord. Stay with the process of coming to church. Don't, don't, don't believe in doubt. They're going to doubt everything. Oh, I don't believe in no church. You know, let them doubt. You know, let them doubt. What if you're wrong on the other side? Then you've got a real problem in your hand. I'd rather come to church on this side and believe and trust what the Bible said than to get on the other side and have real problems. Then the demons come and pick up your soul with their chains and shackles on and take you to the pit of hell. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to read my Bible. Somebody say amen. I believe that there are evil spirits in the life, and they, some of you, they have visited you through dreams, through bad situations. To bad circumstances, to problems in your life. But you got to plead the blood. Somebody say, the blood. blood. Come on, open your mouth and say, the blood. blood. Open your mouth and say, the blood. blood. The blood of Jesus against every spirit. Spirits don't want us to have church. They don't want us to have church. That's why, how many of you had to fight to get here this morning? The kids and the cars and stuff. You had to fight. That's a spirit. Trying to keep you from the house of the Lord. But you made it. Yeah. Somebody say, I made, I made it. And I'm still here. You left some people behind because you, they, they didn't want to go. It's a spirit that holds souls in bondage. It's a spirit that keeps families separated. It's a spirit that keeps sons from honoring their mom and their dad. It's a spirit that keeps people off track. That's why we plead the blood. Read our Bible and declare the Lord is on my side. The third is the spirit of doubt. Somebody say doubt. doubt. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Don't go through doubt. Somebody say doubt. doubt. They, some people doubt that God's going to answer their prayers. They doubt God's going to heal their body. They doubt that God's going to pay their mortgage and pay their house off. They doubt that they're going to have a miracle in their life. Kick out doubt. Kick it out. And say, Lord, I'm going to believe you. If you don't do it, I know you're able. If you don't fix the problem, I know you're able. Somebody say, he is able. Somebody say, he is able. See, you got to cast out doubt. When you begin to tell God, I, I know you're able, doubt gets up and leaves. It quietly leaves. That's why you got to open your mouth. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You got to begin to declare, I'm going to pay off my house. I'm going to have success. I'm going to build a business. I'm going to raise my children. God's going to help me on my job. You got to kick out doubt. Somebody say, kick out doubt. Lord, I believe. And you got to stand for something or you fall for anything. And that's what's messing up men's lives today is spirits that they don't realize in their lives that's present. But you got to know. You come too far. 
you, tell your neighbor, you come too far. You come too far. Well, look, we're going to kick doubt out. Lord, raise your hand with me and say, Lord, I believe. Everybody say, Lord, I believe. Come on, put your hand up and say, Lord, I believe. Stretch your elbow all up and say, Lord, I believe. I am blessed. Say it one more time. I am blessed. In Jesus' name I pray. These are spirits from the pit of hell that's messing up our society. When th these are spirits that when, when you hear people that lie, people that are in, in positions of power and politics and in other offices, they just lie to people. It's a deceptive spirit. Somebody say amen. amen. And for the average person, the more they hear a lie, the more they believe it. But you got to know that's a lie. Somebody say that's a lie. Somebody say that's a lie. Some people doubt that God's going to take care of them. Didn't he take care of you last year? Didn't he bring you through last time? Didn't he help you out last time? Didn't he take care of your children? So then why are you doubting? Why are you doubting? God's going to take care of you. David said, I've been young and I'm old. Never seen the righteous forsaken. Or their what? See, God's going to take care of your children. Let me tell you, God might be more concerned about your children than he is about you. Uh-oh, let me break it down. Y'all looking at me funny. I heard a ripple run through the room. When the children of Israel messed up, God said, I'm done with them. He said, I'm going to bring their little children in. I'm going to bring them into the promised land. And what did he do with them all of them died in the wilderness. Somebody say amen. That's why you be nice to your kids. They act up, be nice to them. Somebody say amen. God may be more concerned about your kids than he is about you. Throughout the Bible, he said, I'll bless you and your children's children. Somebody say amen. I know we all got family members acting up. We got girls in our lives turning it up. We got boys out there trying to be homies and gangsters and all that. Be nice to them. God will bless your life if you're nice to him. Because he's got a plan for him. Somebody say amen. That's why you get your prayer list out and pray over him. The blood. Somebody say the blood. blood. Somebody say the blood. blood. There's no spirit of doubt. It's a spirit. People just doubt. God, heal your mama. And you still doubt it. God has blessed you with a good job and you still doubt him and won't tithe. God has blessed your family and given you the home of your choice and you still doubt him. It's time to believe the Lord. It's time to put God first. It's time to declare the Lord is my help. Raise your hand. Let's pray together. Come on. Everybody say me. Say, Lord, I am blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Number three, number four. The fourth doubt, the fourth doubt, or the, or the fourth spirit that we have to overcome. Number one is rejection. Number two is what? Deception. Number three is what? Doubt. Doubt. Sometime in a marriage, you know, the wife, oh, I don't think you love me no more. What? Sometime in a, in a marriage, the husband, oh, I don't know if you love me anymore. What? That's the spirit. That's causing you to doubt the blessings of God. If there's anything the enemy want to do to us as Christians, is get us to doubt God's blessings over our lives. If there's anything the enemy want to do to us as Christians, get us to not believe that the Lord is going to take care of us. If there's anything the enemy want to get us to believe, is that God is not going to be there for us. He said, I'll never leave you, nor what? Forsake you. He said, I'm a very present help in times of trouble. That's the God we serve. My back has been against the wall. I'm not saying I'm not here just to be the perfect preacher. I've had problems in my life. I've had problems in my families. But I still trust in the Lord. And the Lord brought us through. Every single time, the Lord brought us through. Because you got to renounce those spirits 
And you got to plead the blood. Somebody say the blood. If you don't learn how to say nothing else from Emmanuel Christian Center, learn how to say what? The blood. The blood, the blood of Jesus. When things don't go right in your life, it could be a spirit behind it. So plead the blood. They can't stay in the presence of a Christian proclaiming, pronouncing, and declaring the blood. Revelation 12, 11 said we overcome him by the what? Blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. That's why you can't be quiet. Somebody say amen. amen. If I had been quiet, my wife wouldn't be sitting on this platform with me tonight, today. I beg, baby, I'll take care of you. Because I ain't had no money. Woods ain't have nothing. All I had was a bicycle. But I had words of faith. I love you. I want to be with you. I'll take care of you. You and all your kids. That's why Christians can't let the, the Bible said, let the redeemed of the Lord, what? Say so. As you get older, you want to be around people that pronounce blessings. As you get older, you older, you want to be around people that declare, the Lord is my help. As you get older, you want to be around somebody that say, hallelujah. As you get older, you want to be around somebody that say, Jesus. You don't want to be around somebody, it's church and I'm going to be quiet. Then go to the Catholic church, you're going to be quiet. They don't praise, they don't worship. Let me leave them alone. Somebody say amen. amen. Doubt brings the curse. Doubt mess up your life. Eve and Adam doubted God's word, and it messed all of us up. Somebody say, it's a spirit. And number four, I close at number four. The spirit of giving up. Today, you got to stick with it. COVID has, has unleashed a major spirit into our lives, and the enemy has taken advantage of it. The great resignation, people that just quit their jobs for no reason. Why'd you quit? I don't know. I just wanted time off. It's a spirit. Somebody say it's a spirit. Somebody say it's a spirit. Paul said, I press. I'm going to march, I'm going to march ahead. Paul said, I press. I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before me, I press forward to the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Don't give up. Elbow your neighbor and tell him, don't give up. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on church. Don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your children. It's a spirit when families give up. Talking to the man. On the other side of the, of the country, I, I just, Pastor, I just want to give up. Wait a minute, dude, you can't give up. You give up, you give the devil power in your life. You give up, that one spirit brings in seven more spirits. Now you've given up, and now all your kids are quitters. Because you gave up. People are just wanting to quit. People in America just have quit their jobs over nothing. They're giving up on life. They're giving up on the American dream. It's still possible. But you got to work at it. Somebody say amen. amen. Don't throw in the towel. Stay the course. Somebody say stay the course. Don't make no more excuses. Just get the job done. Woo! Boy, I felt that. Woo! Woo, woo. I got to say it again. Just get the job done. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's where the anointing kicks in. When you get the job done. Many are just lazy. It's a spirit. The enemy tells them, just stay in bed. You don't have to get up. The Broncos going to play at 11. Let me help y'all Bronco fans. They ain't going to beat Tennessee. 
Tennessee got the best running back in the league. He gets 200 yards a game. Do you think the Broncos going to beat a, a running back like that? No, let me help you. I hope they do. Lord, help the Broncos. But you got to know Tennessee. They got one of the best line, line, offensive line in the league. And this boy going to get him 200 yards today. I'm going to let y'all out in a few minutes so you can go home and watch it. <laughs> Somebody say the blood. I just hope the Broncos don't quit. If you get beat, just don't quit. Am I in the right church today? See, some people, if they're getting beat, they say, well, I just might as well quit. No. Fight on to the end. If you're going to beat me, I'm going to give you something to beat. Let's fight all the way to the end. Somebody say amen. But when that boy take that ball, do a shake to the right and a shake to the left, the Broncos going to go into the crowd. Uh, let me leave it alone. Let me leave. Don't y'all get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I just want you to know I ain't skipping the church for the game. Maybe you stayed home to skip the church for the game. I ain't skipping the church for the game. Because I know Derrick Henry is going to be shaking and baking. Don't quit. Somebody said, don't quit. Don't quit. You got to fight back. These are spirits. They just want people to quit. No matter what happened in your life, don't quit. No matter what's going on in your family, don't quit. No matter what the report is, don't quit. I know the young lady that got a bad report, and she just quit, folded up on her bed, and died. We buried her years ago. And it all because she quit. She could have beat the disease, but she quit. You got to fight back. Somebody say fight back. These are the last days, and you're going to see people quitting. You're going to see people in your family quit. You're going to see people on your job quit. But Paul said, I press. I'm going to push myself because the Lord is on my side. I'm not out here by myself. I got help. I'm not going to let no spirit hold me down. I am going to march ahead. Somebody say, march ahead. Somebody say, march ahead. Don't quit. Because you are anointed. There's an anointing on your life to go forward. God didn't anoint you just to quit. He didn't bless your family just to quit. That business didn't work, start another one. This is a season for businesses. And I guarantee if you start one in this season, God will help you. All the Lord wants you to do is not to quit. Oh, he wants to see if you're going to show up. And just be faithful. If you just keep singing in the choir, all of a sudden the anointing hits your vocal cords, hits your diaphragm, and you can push like you never pushed before. You can sing like you never sang before. But if you quit the choir, they don't give me a leading song, Pastor. I want the leading song. So since they won't give me the leading song, I'm just going to go back to the church and I'm just going to sit down and not sing. You cursing yourself. Because if you use it, you will lose it if you don't use it. Somebody say amen. So you got to work it. Somebody say work it. And don't quit. Somebody say don't quit. Jesus never lost his desire to do the will of the Father. He kept going. When all of his disciples ran away, he kept going. When everybody ran away, he said, are y'all going to leave me too? And then Peter said, Lord, we ain't got nowhere else to go. We're not going to quit. We're in it to win it. We're going to be with you. Then Jesus said, I ain't never going to leave you, dog. I'm down with you. I'm going to go to the cross with you. And Jesus said, Peter, calm down. Before the rooster crow, you're going to deny me. Jesus said, back up off me. And Peter said, back up off me, Jesus. I'm with you, dog. 
Some people will say they're with us. But when the going gets tough, they are ready to bail out right now, R-A-T. And that's what Peter did. When that little girl called Peter out that night, Peter said, I don't know the man. And the Bible said he started cursing. And I would shudder to say the things that he said. And the little girl pointed her little finger at him and said, he's one of them. I know he is. And Peter said, girl, put down your little blah, 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 finger. I don't know the man. <laughs> Peter quit. But you've come too far to quit. Elbow your neighbor and say, you come too far to quit. <laughs> Emmanuel, we come too far to quit. We're going to march ahead. We're going forward come pandemic or any other kind of damn it. We're going forward. Somebody say forward. We're in it to win it. Because the Lord is on our side. Somebody say help. That's why you got to keep your mind stayed on the Lord. How do we fight off these spirits? Keep your mind stayed on the Lord. Lay hands on your own head, Lord. Keep my mind. Isaiah 26 and 3, I'll keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is what? Stayed on the Lord. That's why you got to meditate on the word. Isaiah 40 and 8, the grass wither, flower fade, but the word of God will stand forever. If the word is going to stand, it's going to help me to stand. Somebody say amen. That's why you got to plead the blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood over every situation. You're going to have to fight some spirits this week. You have to fight some spirits this week. Plead the blood. And then you just press forward. Somebody say press forward. I'm going forward. No matter what. Somebody say amen. No matter what happens in your life, I'm going forward. Somebody say I'm going forward. You got to be motivated, wired, fired, and inspired. I'm going forward. I'm not going to let depression, oppression, or no other pressure get me down. Somebody say amen. You got to be strong and of a good courage and know that quitting is not an option. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, quitting is not an option. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. And then you got to get up. Many will fall away in these last days. Many will fall away. Many will fall away. But you got to make it up in your mind. I'm going to stay with the Lord. I'm going to go with him all the way. All the way. I'm going all with the Lord all the way. They used to sing a song, all the way. All the way. All the way. Old lady that was sick. She had an incurable disease. But I'll never forget her as a boy. She sat on the second row with her white dress on. And somewhere in the service, she'd get up and sing her song. She'd push herself up on the edge of the chair. She'd push herself up. And then the ushers would come and help her stand. And she would raise her hand and say, all the way. I didn't know what she meant, but now I do. All the way. All the way. And a lady that had an old raspy voice. Didn't have the right tunes. The anointing would fill the house. Because it was her declaration that I'm going all the way. I know the doctors had given up on her. Back then they didn't have hospice. They just let you die at home. But she'd come and sing. All the way, 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 all the way. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for reminding me of her. Stand on your feet and help me say, all the way. Don't quit. All the way, 
all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. The devil wants you to quit. He wants you to give up. He wants you to throw in the towel. You come too far. You've come too far. The Lord's been too good to you. God has brought your family. Save your children. March ahead. Somebody say march ahead. Don't let no devil turn you around. Don't let demonic forces stop you. Go all the way. Till they roll you out of here. Raise your hand with this pastor. Let's declare it all the way. 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 Stay the course. Don't turn around. Don't let evil spirits stop you. The Lord is on your side. Goodness and mercy is following you. You are blessed. Raise your hand and say, I am blessed. Say it again, I am blessed. Don't let rejection hold you down. Don't let deception stop you. Don't let doubt stop you. Don't let giving up stop you. The Lord is on your side. Didn't he bring you the last time? Didn't he get you out the last time? It's your season to march ahead. Somebody say, march ahead. Come on, somebody say, march ahead. The Lord is on your side. Stretch your elbow all the way up and say with me. Say, all the way. 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 Yes. Help me say it. Yeah. You're a winner. Yes. Yes. You can make it. Yeah. The Lord is on your side. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes to victory. Yes, Lord. Yes to success. Yes to eternity. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Somebody just put your hands together. If you believe it, if you renounce evil spirits, if you renounce deception, rejection, doubt, and give it up, put your hands together and just give the Lord a praise. All the way, marching forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. amen. On your way out this morning, I want to pray for you. Lord, put this message on my heart. I just, and he confirmed it several times. I want to pray for you. There are going to be some spirits that are going to attack your life. But just march ahead. Somebody say march ahead. Make it up in your mind. I'm not going to let nothing hold me down. I'm going forward. Somebody say I'm going forward. And maybe you're in the midst of a battle with spirits. No matter what the situation is. And maybe you just say, want to, maybe you just want to say, Pastor, I just, I just want to be ready. All the way. If that's you, meet me at the altar. Don't worry about who's not coming. You come. Come on, let's pray together. Come on, let's pray together. Maybe they attack your family. Maybe they're attacking your kids. Maybe they're attacking your son. Come on. Come on. All the way. Sing it, minister, all the way. 
You're going to make it. All the way. All the way, April. You're going to make it. All the way. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. hand on somebody's shoulder. I'm gonna go These spirits the that way. attack you, you gotta fight back. Somebody say, fight back. With your help they wanna mess up your marriage, your money, your kids, your all destiny. The way. They play to keep. They wanna the destroy way. your children. But my assignment is to remind you that the Lord is on your side. Somebody say, the Lord is on my side. Way, That's why we need one another. We all need one way, another. Lord. We need one another. The Bible says all one can put a thousand a flight Lord. and two can put what? Ten thousand a flight. We need each other. All if nothing else, to ward way. off evil spirits that attack our families. Mm, Somebody say, it's going to be all right. Bow your head with this pastor. Right now, Father, Lord. thank you for putting this message on our hearts. I pray over your people. Right now, I pray over that marriage. Lord. Rebuke that spirit away. Right pray over that family. Lord. In the name of Jesus. For the man that's in trouble, right give him favor. Now, Help him to overcome Lord. evil spirits that bring trouble in his life. In the name of Jesus, for the young lady that's struggling on her job, give her favor. Rebuke that spirit. Somebody at the altar say, the blood. Come on, open your mouth and say, the blood. The blood of Jesus against every spirit of rejection. The blood of Jesus against every spirit of deception. The blood of Jesus against every spirit of doubt. The blood of Jesus against every spirit of giving up. And quit it. We march ahead. Somebody say, March ahead. Say it again, March ahead. The Lord is on our side. We march ahead. Thank you, Father, for your wonderful people at this altar. We pray the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Lord over their house. Let your Spirit rest in their homes. Let your Holy Spirit rest in their cars. Let your Holy Spirit rest in their businesses. Let the Holy Spirit rest in every area of their lives. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, I receive it. We renounce every evil spirit. We renounce deception. We renounce rejection. We renounce doubt. We renounce giving up and quitting. We march ahead. Somebody say, we march ahead. Somebody say, we march ahead. Somebody say, we march ahead. Break the curse of every spirit. Break the curse of alcohol, drug addiction, promiscuity. In Jesus' name, break the curse of family fighting. Break the curse of kids getting in trouble. Break the curse Somebody shout the blood. Come on and pray with me. The blood. Come on and pray with me. The blood. The blood. The blood of our families. The blood of our children. The blood of our children. The blood. Somebody shout the blood. The blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. We receive it today. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. The Lord is on our side. We renounce every lying spirit. We renounce deception. We renounce rejection. We renounce doubt. We renounce giving up. Thank you for the anointing. Of, a, of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name 
Somebody say, I receive it. Raise your hands all over the house and say, I receive it. Spirit of the living God, fall on us. Spirit of the living God, we receive that. Thank you. We're going all the way. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. In Jesus' name we pray. Turn around and give somebody a hug and say, go all the way. 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 Yeah. All the way. Raise your hand and let's declare. All the way. All the way. Don't quit. All the way. Don't give up. All the way. Somebody put your hands together yeah. and just give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Thank you, Father, for your word. Oh, thank you for all your help. We are blessed by the word of the Lord. The grass wither, the flower fade, but the word of God will stand forever. Lord, save our loved ones. Somebody say, save them, Lord. Somebody say, save them, Lord. Our loved ones that don't know Jesus, save them. Cousins, nieces, nephew, co-workers, save them, Lord. Somebody say, save them. Maybe children, nieces, nephews, save them. The Bible says in Acts 4.12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. God loves your loved ones. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his what? Only begotten, Only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not what? Perish, Perish but what? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. To live in eternity. Maybe you're here and you're saying that, Pastor, I never gave my heart to the Lord. Now is the time to do it. It's not too late. Don't wait until you're on your deathbed. That's too close for comfort. Don't wait until you get a bad diagnosis. That's too close for comfort. Somebody say amen. Do it while you're young. Do it while you're healthy and strength. Do it while the blood still runs warm in your veins. Give your heart to the Lord. Somebody say Jesus. 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 You got loved ones that need to be saved. Raise your hands. Let's pray. Everybody say with me. Say, Lord, save them. Say one more time. Lord, save them. Say one more time. Lord, save them. One more time. Say, Lord, save them. The blood. One more time. The blood. One more time. The blood. The blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Save them, Lord. Somebody say, save them, Lord. Somebody say, save them, Lord. Jesus. Only in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Oh, call on his name. Jesus. Oh, let's call him. Jesus. One more time. Jesus. One more time. Jesus. Over that problem in your life. Jesus. 
over that situation. Jesus, save them, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody put your hand up and say, Lord, I rededicate. I recommit my family, my children, all that I have to you. I recommit my house, all my bills to you. Thank you, Lord. No bill can live in my life. Thank you, Lord. I love you. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for Jesus who died on the old rugged cross on a hill called Calvary. Will you just give the Lord a hand, Glenn? Jesus. Can we sing that, Jordan? What Gene is playing? I don't know if we know that one. You don't know if you know it? Okay. Anybody in the choir know it? I mean, I know it. I'm just saying I don't know if the choir knows it. But... Do you know it? What Gene is playing? You are the you living are word. The living word. Let's sing a little bit. Jesus, Jesus. Let's try. That's what we call you. Yes. Major born. Major born, but on a tree. You died to save humanity. You are the living word. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, y'all sound That's good. what we call. That's what we call you, Major Born, Major Born, but on a tree, you died to save humanity, you are the living, Jesus, 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 oh, come that's on, say what everybody. we call, that's what we call, Major Born, Major Born, but on, but on. You are, you are the Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's, that's what, what we call. That's what we call you, Major yeah. Born, Major Born. But on the tree, you died to save humanity. Can we say? Somebody give a Lord a hand clap for the choir. Y'all do know this song. Bless you, you may be seated. Don't take it lightly that you're in church. Don't take it lightly that you are watching my live stream. Somebody say amen. In America, they want to do away with the church. But we need God's house. Maybe that's the thing that's keeping us afloat. The little house on the corner they call the church somebody say amen no place else in the world do we have churches like we have in America somebody say amen don't let them do away with the church we need the church I would have never made it without the church somebody say amen Jesus teaching his disciples about giving he said in Luke 6 38 he said to them give and it shall be given unto you press down good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. Teaching his disciples about giving, he said, my father feed the birds. See, Jesus taught his disciples to give. Teach his disciples to give. He said, my father feed the birds. He feed the birds. And he said, you are much more valuable than the birds. He said, consider the lilies of the field, Matthew chapter 6, how they toil. None of them 
Solomon has none of, nothing arrayed like the lilies of the field. Somebody say, I'm blessed. Say it again, I'm blessed. God's going to take care of you. Let me encourage you, going forward, be a tither. Let me encourage you, stand on your tithing covenant. And if you, if you, don't, have, if you don't have a tithing covenant, then just know it's time to make a covenant with God that I'm going to partner with you in every area of my life. Somebody say amen. I'm amazed at the birds. He feed the birds on all seven continents. North America, South America, Africa, Europe. Where you at, Baco? Africa, all the birds in Africa. Asia, Australia, Antarctica. On all seven continents, God feed the birds. And if he can feed the birds on all seven continents, he can take care of your mortgage. He can take care of your car note. Trust him. And don't listen to the lying spirits that deceive you and say, it don't make a difference. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You give to God. He, it makes a difference. He'll give it back to you. Let's just come forward. Give everybody an envelope. Everybody give something. In this season, Jesus is a living word. In this season, let's not be deceived. Let's not be deceived. Let's not reject the Lord. Let's not be deceived. Let's not live a life of doubt. This is a day that we trust the Lord and know that God's going to take care of us. Because if he feed the birds on all seven continents, I know that he can take care of me. Somebody say, I'm blessed. Say it again, I'm blessed. So give the whole time and trust in the Lord and just watch God. Just say, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you. A lot of people don't trust the Lord. Just say, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you. And watch God work in your life. If you're making out a check, make it payable to an ECC. Now, there's a place for you to give by your text giving or online. Just give and watch God work in your life. Because some things money can't buy. And evil spirits will push your life against the wall. And you need God's help. Somebody say, help. Let us all stand this morning and give to the Lord. Oh, you give some to the Lord and with me and everybody say, Lord, I give into your kingdom. I'm going forward in every area of my life. Come on, say it with authority. Say, Lord, I give into your kingdom. I'm going forward in every area of my life. Thank you. I'm going forward. I'm marching ahead. The Lord is on my side. Thank you for all your help. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. If you're giving, come and lay it on the altar as an act of faith. Somebody say bless, 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 bless. Say I'm blessed. Say you're blessed. Say we're blessed. Say everybody's blessed. Say I'm blessed. Say you're blessed. Say we're blessed. We're blessed. We're blessed. We're blessed. I say we're blessed.
Somebody say, I'm blessed. Let us all stand this morning. Thank you. Let me update you. The score is zero to zero at the end of the first quarter. The defense has hell. Y'all need to pray for the Broncos. The blood. Somebody say, the blood. Somebody say, the blood. Lord, help the Broncos. Welcome, Minister Booker Newman, as he pronounced the blessing over our children, uh, or the blessing of the Lord at the end of our service. God bless you. I'll see you on Wednesday night. Go in peace and serve the Lord. God is good. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and his sons, say to them, You should bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance and, and give Lord lift up his countenance and give ye peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and they shall put my name upon the families of Emmanuel, and I will bless them. Father God, we just thank you for your word, oh Father God, this evening, this afternoon. We thank you, oh Father God, that you have given us more wisdom and of how to understand these four evil spirits that come after us, Father God. The spirit of rejection and the spirit of deception and doubt and give it up, Father God. For you not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power and love of a sound mind, Lord. And as we go through this week, Father God, and as these enemies come upon us, Father God, let us encounter with them with your word, oh Father God. For your word said we are more than conquerors, oh Father God. We are the head and not the tail, Father God. We are above and up beneath, Father God. So let us speak your word over our lives. Let us speak your word over our family. Let us speak your word over our children, Father God. And Lord, as we pray, Father God, these things, we leave this place, but we never leave your face. In Jesus' name I pray. Let everybody say amen.
city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Thank you for tuning into the Emmanuel Christian Center live stream. You are blessed and have a blessed week in Jesus' name.